to those of my sisters who kept their naturals. Now, this is a poem by Gwendolyn Brooks. It turns out Gwendolyn Brooks's daughter went to Paris one day, came back with her natural hair, and Gwendolyn was infuriated. How could you leave your hair natural? Don't you understand the image you are creating? You must look sleek. You must look chic. But years later, Gwendolyn was converted to keeping her natural hair from the experience of her daughter. And she much later on wrote this beautiful poem. And it is not a shaming of those who chose otherwise or choose otherwise or like to mix it up. But as you will see, it is a celebration of the texture, the Afro textured hair. And we are all here for it. So to those of my sisters who kept their naturals, never to look a hot comb in the teeth by Gwendolyn Brooks. Sisters. I love you because you love you, because you are erect, because you are also bent in seizing, stern, kind, crisp, soft in season, and you withhold and you extend and you step out and you go back and you extend again, your eyes loud, soft, with crying and with smiles are older than a million years and they are young. You reach in season and all below the rich rouch, right time of your hair. You have not bought blondine. You have not hailed the hot comb recently. You never worshipped Marilyn Monroe. You say Farah's hair is hers. You have not wanted to be white. Nor have you testified to adoration of that state with the advertisement of imitation. Never successful because the hot comb is laughing too. But oh, the rough, dark, other music. The real, the right, the natural respect of self and seal. Sisters, your hair is celebration in the world.